Hey, what's up, everyone? Happy Monday night. Yeah, it's just two of us here. Uh, we're, we're running on a little bit of a skeleton crew, but that's okay. Hope everyone's uh, doing well. Um, happy Monday. <laughs> uh, I, I already said that. Uh, Sloppy Stacks, John Jacobs, uh, Mr. Mr. Kittle is in the house as well. Let's see who else here. Uh, Finally uh, made it. Shannon. Shad Diego. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I mean, I've never had such a problem. I, I was trying to restart my laptop because something was wrong. And, and it, it just spun and spun. And then it says, it tells me something's wrong. We're going to have to restart, you know, your laptop. I'm like, that's what I was doing. What are you doing? Sounds familiar. <laughs> my, my daughter... Um, hadn't filed her taxes yet and she bought TurboTax and she was trying to oh. put it on her laptop. She couldn't get it to work. She used my wife's laptop and it's a Microsoft laptop, but it still had windows. So there was like an internal wall on the Microsoft side that won't allow her to download the TurboTax oh, nice. that she bought online. So yeah, a lot, a lot of computer issues these days. I thought, I thought computers were supposed to replace us. I know, right? You're yeah. right, Kittle. I need yeah, some more and all the, the AI man. stuff. And uh, oh, Lordy. how's everyone doing? Well, it's Monday. It is, and it's it, a, and it's tax deadline day. So tax deadline day. You know, for 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 most of you. <laughs> for most of you, unless you file yeah. for an extension. I, I ended up filing for an extension. What's up, Scott? Short yeah, Daniel, we are indeed a little bit short staffed. So we're going to make a man to do out. One. Adam, as far as I know, is out. Uh, he might pop in. I, I don't know. But um, aside from that, you know, a piece of cake is better than no cake, right? I mean, you've got the best looking trio here, right? I, I think so. I'm sure the other ones won't watch hey, this. You guys, right? you guys don't need anyone else. Right, right. Yeah, we're the fun ones. Uh, it is what it is. What's that dirty now, water. Uh, the, the show, the show must go on. There are people depending on us. That's so right. this is your uh, favorite uh, Monday night live stream show, uh, where folks like you have submitted coin questions to us. And what we do is we uh, we go through all of these emails. Thank you, by the way. We have an abundance more that we need to go through. So if you don't see your email in here tonight. Or if we don't, we didn't announce it as being um, something we're going to talk about tonight. Rest assured, everyone gets taken care of. So, thank you all. Uh, so, if you got errors, varieties, something new you want to show us, we, we got a few pretty nice coins to talk about tonight. Um, just anything, then we are here for you. The only thing I would say we don't really talk about is value and pricing. Um, I think. You know, at the end of the day, our mission statement is to uh, let everyone kind of understand how the coins that you send us, how they happen through the minting process and, uh, you know, things of that nature. Uh, you know, and then, you know, if it comes down to it, and we do consult on, you know, auction sites and auction houses to use and you know, if it's uh, if it's relevant, you know, then we'll bring that up. We'll have a conversation. Uh, you know, we we have you know uh, helped out a few people. Uh, most recently, um, you know, the the panel assisted uh, someone with the the Brockage Steel Scent, and that sold for a pretty fair amount of money. So, um, there there are those instances, you know, where uh, you know pricing and you know, kind of like recommendations and things like that do occur. Um, but what I haven't done and which I'll do here during the course of the stream is I'll um, I'll put up our email uh, and have it pinned in the comment section. So if anyone has any questions, maybe during the stream, that what we don't do is we, we don't pull emails during the stream uh, for obvious reasons. We got, you know, we have an itinerary and we keep, like to keep the flow of the show rolling um somehow some way we will address it you know before our next show so you guys have um have been awesome you know you guys have uh 
put us up atop the map okay. of one of the more trustworthy, uh, you know, groups that that you can um, chat with, and, and we're glad that you guys are are a part of us. So, thank you. Hugs and love. Your blue, your bird just blew my ear off. Sorry, Mary Louisa. <laughs> I did notice that. I, I tried talking over it. It didn't work I out know. too well. It's just, you know, sometimes he's going to go live with his mother. So it won't be long. I'm won't be long? Move him down you, there. Are, are you counting the minutes or the months? <laughs> the minutes. The days. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah. It's been bad. <sighs> so. Oh, come on, Shannon. You, you know you love them. You'll miss I, them. I, I do, but, you know. He does that all day long, so everybody that thinks their ears hurt, believe me. <laughs> I've got bad hearing. Yeah. Time, time to invest in a quality hearing aid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So also uh, to throw out there, one reason why we don't have a lot of coins tonight is because we were trying to work on coins this weekend, and somehow Outlook went down or something and we couldn't even look at the pictures. So we could read the emails, but we couldn't look at the pictures and don't know what happened. But I will say it had to be something, even though Amanda and I both looked and Microsoft said they were having no troubles, right? Mm -hmm. When I got on, like, <laughs> I've got three different computers. And when I got on all my computers, my different accounts for like my work and everything else everything i was backed out of i was logged out it they had to do something so just saying just saying <laughs> coin q a would be over ten thousand friends if amanda would talk more no probably not probably not. <laughs> probably well it jumped up a hundred keep going keep going <laughs> Come to Tulsa if you want to hear Amanda talk. We're going to make her talk to people, even though she doesn't want to. <clears throat> no, yeah, da Daniel, uh, Michael is correct. They only they only attribute it three different ways. Uh, so it's either just the regular 22D, uh, the weak D, uh, which you can barely see it on there. Uh, I've actually owned a few of those. And the no D, plain. They, they just call it plain. They, they, don't, they don't denote... You know, um, die pairing three, or you know, strong reverse, or you know, something like that. A Annex might I mean, now that I think about it, but but I haven't seen one in a while. Um, so I don't know. That's a that's an interesting coin and to say the least. They don't do a weak reverse versus a strong reverse. Because it's just yeah. It's well, dude, no two, two out of the four die pairings have the strong reverse, and then the other right. two are weak. And it, there's a substantial difference in uh, desirability and value uh, between the, the two, um, to a point where I think that maybe they should they should either I don't think they should do die pairing. I think they should just do weak or strong, similar to what they do to the. Um, 1982 um, playing no mid mark Roosevelt died because there's a uh, there's a weak and strong um, strike of that coin that they do uh, denote on there. So I don't know. Maybe if PCGS and the powers that be are listening to us, maybe they could uh, you know entertain that. Stay stay strong, Amanda. You will survive. Yeah, you will survive. <laughs> He's saying, any idea why the listing in CoinFax calls it the no D weak reverse? Then they have a unique listing for strong reverse versus weak reverse. I don't know. I, I haven't seen it, and I've covered that coin quite extensively. Now it could be something completely new that they've implementing implemented here just recently. Um, because you know they they like to they like to change things up a bit the same way that they changed up the 88 from you know what it was and to the flare g and, you know i don't know man one second i'll be right back anyway not a whole lot in, in uh when it comes to news for the week uh the one big notable thing that i haven't talked about that did go live here last week is uh cac g grading 
is now open for membership. So if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to finally join CAC to grade, they are now taking that. So you, you could join CAC G. You could send off coins to them to grade. They are they have officially opened up that window for everyone. So I don't know how excited you guys are about that, but you know, yeah, he had to, he had to give Polly a cracker. Yeah, I had to give him. He likes goldfish. Yeah, like because uh, make sure there's no salt on it and stuff. But a, a bird can't whistle if it's been eating saltines all day, right? That's what I'm like hoping. Like in the cartoons, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. and pieces coming out of their mouth. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> What's up, Eric? So, good evening, everyone. You're not in Cat G's tax bracket. Yeah. What exactly? What exactly? What is exactly the tax bracket? Oh, are man, they that's funny. are they any more expensive than? like pcgs i haven't looked and i uh, i was going to today um but i i don't know hey they could be a few bucks more and i don't know i will we'll find out here pretty soon I, i'll yeah i'll update you guys next week i'm not gonna do it right now um yeah. but yeah that's what we got there so we have Four little old coins, four emails to talk about today. And if you guys had any questions after we talk about the four coins, we'd be more than happy to field some of those from you guys. Um, they, but Mike, Michael, Michael answered my question for me. Way more. And that's that's, that's, that's what we're not not looking at. Well, yeah. <laughs> get the crap grades. But dealers, are they, do, not, dealers do not like Cac G from what I hear. They, they, they're they're kind of like rewriting the, the game, you know. Is it is it because they're being so strict and so <laughs> you know, trying to it, it's it's a lot of things. Stricter grading, you yeah. know, like like they're hearkening back nineteen eighty five grading standards. Um uh their details detailing the crap out of like toned coins too so right. yeah there, there, there's a lot of things that that i've heard that aren't particularly favorable to that company but a lot of people like them they, they're they're out there for the collector and they, that's that's what the president said in the um in his interview uh with with matt i think yeah i don't think mike was there just matt Coin Show podcast. They did an interview yeah. with Ron Drzuski or whatever his name is. So, Drubitsky. 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 Uh, Michael, I'm in the I'm in the same boat too. I, I I'll buy the coins already graded by CAC G, but you know, I, it's do I trust myself to get my own coins graded, especially when I have coins that. That I might have issues trying to get them to straight grade, like toners or things like that. So, I don't know. well, you could be like, uh, who is it? Um, our our friend from Denver that uh, was uh, buys details tone coins on great collections, cracks them out, and then re and then puts them on his eBay store for more money. Can you elaborate who that is? Yeah, that's, that's the guy that uh, I had problems with and Jeff Stanley had problems with. Really yeah, he uh, he wanted to only give us half a, ref, a refund because uh, his because the coin was cleaned and then Jeff Stanley's coin was damaged and then and then he re-put the exact same coin, Jeff's yeah. coin, back up for yeah. au auction. Yeah. After he got it back, yeah. the same. I don't suppose I don't suppose the guy has background with fancy calligraphy checks of writing on the back. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, the name doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, but yeah. It's getting around now. He's buying his coins off great collections, like the artificially toned or unk details, questionable color, 
takes them, takes them, and then buys them super cheap, and then he cracks them out, puts them on his website, on his eBay store, and charges a hefty penny, saying they're all natural and no problems, and blah blah blah. And... Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ace Dog? Better late than never. Hey, there's a there's a blast from the past. Hey, Amber. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. Good to see you. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, hope JP, all is well. Hope JP is says well. somehow it feels like the graders are the only ones making all the money. In most cases, they probably do make <laughs> most of the money. Oh, yay. My federal return was accepted. That's always right. Nice. Well, he does, though, Kittle. He, I don't think he tells anybody that they're, you know, cleaned or whatever. He sells them problem free. No, he's selling them as problem free coins. Probably yeah. high, high grade, you know, specimens or whatever. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, the guy's name is Denver. Denver Coins, I think. Is that it? Is what did he change? Didn't he have a different name? Before it, did. it used to be Colorado um, Mountain something. No, Colorado. What was his old name? Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, we talk, we talked about him on a early early uh, like it's, his name years. is right now is Denver Coins Company, Denver, Denver Coins Co on eBay. And was he at the A and A when we were there? Mm, probably. I didn't see him. I don't. I didn't see his he name. Went extremely low profile, I would imagine. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. He's got a hundred percent feedback, which I don't know how that happens. He he must be uh, getting eBay to remove all his stuff. Right. Well, you know, if he ends up, can't you have a, a negative comment removed if you have? satisfied the customer with a return or whatever done oh no it's not, it was canyon city coin that's what it canyon was. city that's canyon, canyon city yeah yeah, yeah that's we what talked about that before so, buyer beware <laughs> don't buy coins from him just saying just saying i don't think he goes by that name anymore does he no it's denver no. coins company now is what he goes by he changes he, his name Michael's asking if he has a storefront business in Denver. I don't know if I he has. I don't think so. I don't think so. As much as he does online. Well, he went from Canyon City, which is in <laughs> Arizona, to right. Denver. To Denver. Uh, where's he going to be next month? In Montana? Probably. <laughs> He's going to be in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Blue Ridge. No. Yeah. He'll be Blue, Blue Ridge Coins. Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Silver and Coins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll hound dog your coins for you. you know. eBay protects certain sellers. Yeah, that's possible. Um, I think they're high dollar. Probably the ones that are getting a lot of fees from. They're probably more apt to. You know, no, no, of, deputy. That that's someone else. Sweep it under the rug, kind of thing. You know. Yeah, that guy, that guy uh, deputy does not own any coin shop or anything like that. So, yeah. yeah. What else? So, not a whole heck of a lot in terms of uh, news, you know. Other than CAC G now now officially taking uh, memberships. Have you have you already signed up, Sean? I haven't signed up yet. No, no. Uh, I, I wanted to um, see the pricing structure. Um, Kittle said ninety nine dollars. I think to sign up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kittle, yeah. Kittle said it's uh, their submission fees are pretty pricey. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I might have to do some research and see if it's something that. Well. Um, I guess Ian Russell has a pretty good deal with them because they've got the lowest grading fees as far as a great collection goes. Wow. Well, not cheaper than Annex. I mean, Annex is still by far. <laughs> yeah. A uh, dollar a coin. <laughs> Twelve dollars a coin. But I have to say, okay, this is my take. With the new photographer, the guy from 
PCGS. What is his name? I can't think of his name. But anyway, they'll do annex coins. He'll take photos of any coin. So if you think about it, if you can get it in an annex lab, you can probably still sell for some good money if you can photograph your coin for you. And yeah, he did right. that with a, several of mine. Phil uh, Arnold? That are up there right now, yeah. So, is it is it Phil Arnold? That's probably correct if Michael Kittle said that, I'm sure. <laughs> Joey asked, um, Sean, you never had a real shop, though, did you, Sean? You never had a brick-and-mortar shop. Brick-and-mortar, no. No, all, all my expensive. stuff's been That's e expensive. That's very expensive. Brick and mortar is way pricey. Yeah, it is. Uh, my buddy Chad, Encore Golden Coin, who just opened up his shop in December, he, uh, under the terms of the lease that he signed, he has to put up a light light up sign. So he ordered one. And it came to just under fifty thousand dollars. So just just hearing how much a sign is the sign, the building, I, I'm gonna say yeah, it's probably not worth doing a brick and mortar unless you're, you know, financially That's... back to the gills. <laughs> he yeah, like he should have called me because I got I got a, a light up sign. I used to have a tanning salon. Crickets. Okay. Anyway, you don't really have a. No, I, thought, I, thought gonna, I thought you were going to say nudes here. It's got like a finger pointing sign going into the building. Did yeah. You really have a tanning salon? I did. We, you know, it's lasted, funny. I was making that one joke that like, I didn't know you had a tanning. We lasted salon. about four years, so <laughs> it was pretty good, but it it was way too expensive. <laughs> but we got a light up sign, and it was like under a thousand bucks. I could have probably got one and shipped it to him for a lot cheaper yeah. than. I'm sure part of that is probably uh, zoning and all the other crap that comes yeah, probably. along. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly um, that. There's certain specifications and all that he has to follow. Damn overpriced California commercial <laughs> leasing bullcrap. <laughs> right. And somebody's like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, I know. Whitest guy on earth. I've been attaining so long. Yes, it is dirty water. Whoa. Cool. I'm Spider Man. <laughs> so, without further ado, we should jump into the coins because we have a whole gaggle of them. Right, the Amanda? Gaggle. Yeah. All, gaggle all four of them. Uh, yep, all four. <laughs> Wait, are you going to do that intro thing? Do you want me to? Yes, do the intro. You made that. It's nice. <laughs> It is. It's really nice. See, that's awesome. <laughs> Gypsy Wolf says, I do a coin truck like a food truck. <laughs> that's probably the way to do it, like mobile. Mobile coin shop. Well, welcome to the live coin Q and A, April fifteenth of twenty twenty four. You're in for a great, spectacular show. If you haven't joined the ANA, please join the ANA and also Koneka, as they are great with errors and varieties and a great, yeah, all that stuff that Paula usually says. I do, we do have a video of Paula too. Maybe we'll play that later. All right. You want to start, Adam? Oh, sure. Drag through or lamination from Anna A. Uh, I came across this coin in a roll from my LCS, local, local coin shop. Is this a detached lamination strike through or something else? It is pretty dramatic looking, like a big crater on Lincoln's head. Thank you for any help you can provide. Oh, my goodness. Wow. wow. That is a big crater. Hardly noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a blockhead. I'm going to call him blockhead. He's like, well, how's my hair? And you say, anything that will take the emphasis off my fa off your face. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sorry. boy. Sorry. Oh. Dang. Wow. So, yeah. Is 
So what? Did, who who decided on this? Because it's probably could be either, right? The strike through, I think. You think because his forehead is and nose are still. I think it's. I think a lot of it's because of the design, the way the um, edges are and stuff, makes me think to strike through rather than. Oh, right. And it's also um, the way it looks. I should say the texture. It looks more like a strike through than a lamination. Right. It's not like granular kind of green, like striations. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. have striations yeah. and stuff. Because a lot of times they yeah, look alike. Sometimes they kind of go hand in hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you have a, you can have a little bit of both because. But yeah. <laughs> Even as an eye and smoking a cigarette, kind of. I thought he was like blowing his nose or something. I was snotting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's snot Lincoln, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. What was that on a 58D? Looks like his head's in like a ice block, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Like they're cryogenically freezing him for for the future, right? You know? Well, he, he if he came back today, like what the hell is going on? I wonder which party he belonged to. <laughs> Just we don't. Talk well, about that. Yeah, I don't know. He's probably like wigs or something back in that. Well, they probably didn't have. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not historically uh, accurate, so I'm not gonna try to even speculate. Yeah, Shannon, that is correct. You are not historically correct. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. At least I'm positive about something. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, good find. Good find. He was a Republican. Okay. Or how about this? He was a straight up a pure American. He's See, there you go. Man. There you go. Everybody knows. Okay, father of the Republican Party. Okay. <laughs> Twenty eighteen P. Jefferson Nichols satellite dish from Larry N. Some of us have cherry picked, bought, found, or seen beehive coins before, but has anyone seen a satellite dish on the side of the Monticello building? This nickel looks pretty cool and even comes with its own connection box below next to the designer's initials. Mm -hmm. I've looked at many sites but haven't been able to find anything like it. Any suggestions? Thanks for all your input. You guys rock. Thanks, Larry. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Is there a way to zoom in? Yeah, there's probably a closer picture. Oh, there you go. Is it a satellite dish on the side, or is it a tulip? <laughs> or is it a light, a fancy light? A fancy light, yeah. That's pretty cool. No, it looks like the West Wing still gets direct TV. <laughs> That's probably right. It's on the right side. That's not common. You're right, Dirty Water. Now you just get a TV in the window, and we'll be good. Right. That's, a, that's, a little that's pretty nice. Kinda it looks like odd. a flyer that's that's like a bud still. Right. Yeah, it's even got still a little crack that just barely touches FS, if not. Now, how does that not touch FS? It must have just, so just started. I guess so. But it's awfully close. Yeah, that's pretty neat, though. Yeah, most of the time you find them on the opposite side, like when we're talking about all those beehive dye chips and all that. Just dye chips? Yep, just dye chips. My camera busted. Lincoln. Clinton, not Lincoln. Like... Looks like Geico peeking, <laughs> like, like the lizard peeking out around the... Side of the building. Okay. I was thinking, like, it could be like, you know, remember when the plants in Jumanji, it's, you know, just starting to grow up. Oh, uh, yeah. You're talking the old Jumanji, right? Right, yeah. 
I haven't seen the new one. Nice. Cool find, That's Larry. That's pretty cool. Cool find, Larry. What do we got? 1941 Wheat Scent FS102. What? Dirty water. All right. That's Hello, good. panel. <laughs> I know, right? I hope you are all well. I'm still hunting the same box of scents that I found the 1982 FS101 in. Nice. There was also a 2015 WDDO 006 in this hunt. The, this coin here, however, is the 1941 FS102. I've been on the lookout for one of the double die 1941s for quite some time. You'll also notice there is a nice lamination on the reverse. Thank you, panel and chat, for your continued support. I'd be lonely, a lonely content creator if it weren't for you all. Have a great night, everyone. Well, thank you, Dirty Water. We like you sending stuff in. A little thick. I want to see in God we trust. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, look at that G. Oh my gosh. GGs. GGs. The N. Got some good splits. That O. We see trust. Do we have trust? What uh, the w. w. Right there. The W is all in the. Yeah. That's yeah. The yeah. yeah. That thing's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. There's good trust. trust. Yeah. That's the one to see. Very it's nice. Hard to, find. hard to find on a more circulated coin, but if you're looking out for them, definitely see it. That's an awesome find. Congratulations, Dirty Water. Did he send us a close-up of the lamination, too? He did not. No. Well, you can kind of see it from the first picture, but... But, yeah... Um. Not so much the lamination I would, you know, that makes this coin important. No, it doesn't make it important at all. Just the fact that he found it. Oh my gosh. Why are you. Oh no. Don't worry, dirty water. <laughs> it's fine. Don't beat yourself up. Jeez. <clears throat> That's our I'm, job. I'm sure that if somebody wants to see that, they could probably go to one of your videos, recent videos, and watch you doing that hunt just saying you want to do this one sean sure the new edith kanaka ole doubled die reverse from dirty water hello panel this is just an update on the 2023 kanaka ole <laughs> quarter i had sent images of i received confirmation tonight 412 that it was attributed as vddr number one one r vi or six. Thank you all for your time and expertise. We all appreciate each of your each of you. There. Thanks, Dirty Water, and awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> that, another new disco. Awesome. Yeah. This one's pretty cool. He's also got one that might uh, might be a new one on an older quarter. Got splits, some small splits up there. That extra extension. It's pretty cool. And for being on a new quarter. You can tell that he looks very del uh, diligently at his coins as he goes through them too i don't know if most people would look for this well you you, you kind of have to with the newest generation of coins they're all single yeah. squeeze you know yeah because it's it's very uh i don't know what the word would be it's, most of them are tiny but you know yeah but this one's all over which is cool that's a good well, sometimes point. sometimes they could trick you into thinking that it could be like machine doubling or something like that. Right. Hey, Felties. 
Hey, um, did Felties want to? Did we want to give Felties that book? Oh yeah, Felties. Do you have a red book? There was a question about that. And look, you got it on top of the trees. Or the trees, the whatever's on her head. They look like trees. She's got <laughs> trees on her head. But, the uh, tree bush. <laughs> Headdress? I don't know. Oh, you've got one? Okay. We may need to find somebody else that doesn't. Well, we could always redo it. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, or Gulo, I believe so. Uh, dirty, dirty water can confirm uh, where it was found. Yeah. At. I don't know if he went through full BU rolls of Kanakaoles or if it was just a random chance encounter out of a mixed roll. Trees. <laughs> I just try to keep it interesting, Maria Louise. I'm having to date one. Coin looks hit. It looks hit free. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, hard to believe this coin is nearly a year old. Man, there was a lot, a lot of stuff that was found on this. That die clash. The the big old. Uh, what is it? So cus customer wrap roll. He's found two. And Lex is asking, how do you get to the point where you trust your own judgment? Even with a scope, I constantly second guess if I'm seeing double dies, especially on older coins. Well, I think it does take experience. You have to see a lot of them. You have to see a lot that are really true double dies and also not double dies. So you can kind of tell the difference. Um, and that's one thing that we try to help with. If you have question, you know, if you're questioning what you're seeing, feel free to send pictures in and we will try to help you as well. Um, you know, and then that way, you know, cause everybody starts off that way. And even, you know, people that are even more experienced sometimes think, well, is that really what I'm seeing or not? And until you get, you know, maybe two or three different opinions from people that that know uh you know might not be or or like he sent this in you know to have it attributed and and it was attributed as a double die because we might have sat here and said well you know it could be but it might not be or whatever and yeah <laughs> and during hey, you you need a resource where you have multiple eyeballs that can take a look at it. We're a good one because there's automatically going to be at least two of us that are going to see that as a confirmation, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty Water says that uh, he questions himself and he asks me questions. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know them all, and I take them, you know, to the other people on the team whenever I don't have a clue, and I'm like, what do you think? And we all, you know, you, you look for all of the different aspects of what makes something a double die. And they look different now than they used to look. And like Sean was saying, these are single squeeze double dies versus the old, older way of, of you know, Of making them so. In the initial similar but not as prominent. Next now question. let's let, let let's let's not kid ourselves. Usually with these type of varieties, you could see it with like a ten times power um, magnifier. A, a scope is just really a great tool to take photography of of these type of. Uh, varieties yeah um, but they should never be the end all you know like oh i gotta use a scope on every single coin it, you know it because at 80 or 100 times power if you have to use that strength of power it's probably pretty minor well and yeah i've got onto dirty water a few times because i'm like 
he'll he'll look at something a lot under his scope and be like, look, use your loop. So he uses his loop a lot more now. And Eric, you may be right. It might not just be single squeeze anymore. Um, these bigger ones like this, I mean, most of the stuff we were seeing, you know, right in the middle of the coin. And now you got stuff all around the, the reverse here. You think things changed around 2021? Okay. That true may be true. Maybe we need somebody to go to the mint and investigate. Or maybe we can ask the mint director when we see her. Are we going to see her? Maybe. Stray Man, thank you for the $5 super sticker. That's very kind of you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Rosie Key. Yeah, bad eyesight, especially when you get older, is inescapable. And, and, I, and I get it. You know, yeah, and and a lot of times, you know, people will use a scope, and when they see something that's odd, then they'll also try to use the loop, which is fine. But obviously, obviously, anything that's like um, cherry pickers guide variety, you probably don't need a scope to see. Because those are the big ones. Yeah, some of them you do. Probably a dumb question, but is a 69S with machine doubling on the date and mint mark worth anything or worth keeping? Oh, depends on who you ask. This this is a like a true like morals type of question. Um, right. Because what's the matter if I uh, what I say right? You know, I'm going to say, no, in theory, it's not supposed to be worth something. But if you went online, to the contrary, you know, it's going to make a liar out of me. Right. So, yeah, it's, it, there is, uh, there, there are people that collect strong machine doubled examples of the 69S. And they pay dearly for them. The reason why is it's association that's ties to the FS101 variety for that date. It's similar to the poor man's double die 55. Why do people want that coin when it's like a really crappy die deterioration double coin? Right. Because of its close association to the 55 FS101. So right. that's that's kind of like with that association automatically it's it has some sort of credence on the secondary market i may not agree with it michael kittle may not agree with it because you know he's a dealer you know he he looks at everything very black and white when it comes to stuff like that and uh, so do i to an extent but we can't ignore the fact that there is this hidden kind of market behind the scenes you, you know even if i paid attention to it or not you know it exists right because it's kind of like the poor man's version of the 69S. It kind of is. Yeah. Okay, well, um, now we're done with the coins. And those were some really good ones. Um, does anyone have any questions that they would like answered? And Dirty Water also, Dirty Water, Dirty Water also said... That scent hunt yielded a very cool 72 Clash die as well. The video posted tonight. Very That's cool. It. Yeah. And everybody's giving good luck to uh, Southern Coin Hunter. He's got eye surgery tomorrow. That's oh, yeah. Good. I did hear about that. Best of luck to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just take a break. Don't don't overdo things after it's all done. Hey, Venomous. Um, no, if you send something tonight, it won't be seen because we normally um, put everything on a slideshow so that we can present it. And we've also still got some that are backed up that we're trying to get through. So we take them in order as they come. But if you do want to send us something, please do. 
I will put the um, email in the chat just in case you need that. <clears throat> and then we'll get back to you and let you know something. And if it's something cool or something, you know, interesting to discuss, we'll put it in the show. Or Facebook. Yep, that's absolutely correct, too. You always put it in Facebook. Put that link in there, too, in case anybody doesn't have our Facebook page. Well, Joey, I haven't heard anything. Uh, the U.S. Well, Mint continue, continuously produces coins all throughout the year. So, you know, to, to allude to the fact that there's a low mintage or a scarcity problem, you know, four months into the year, it's kind of hard to gauge. Because it's, uh, well, they can wrap up production at any point during the year. You know. So, Biggie, um, if you didn't see it, I put the um, email address in the chat. And if you want to send pictures of your coin, send us a full obverse and a full reverse, and then close-ups as, as good as you can get them on anything specific that you want us to look at. And then we'll uh, make sure and also ask a specific question because we get a lot of emails that say, what do you think? And we have no clue as to what they want us to be looking at or thinking about, all that good stuff. So just try to, you know, have a, have a question in mind when you do send the coins or the pictures of the coins. Why aren't co companies attributing the 2011 DDO cents? Um, probably because there, there's no cherry pickers guide variety. Um. Or it might be just too minor for consideration with a you know to to earn a FS listed listing. Right. I I, I I don't completely understand the question. Like like what what companies is are you alluding to? Oh, I, I was I was assuming grading companies. But yeah. Um. Annex will put it on the slab. Yeah, Annex should. Because they'll do stuff that's listed on like Wexler's and Variety Vista and stuff. Or they'll also do discovery coins if, you know, when you've got a letter from Dr. Biles or Wexler's new people or whatever. It's on Variety Vista, so PCGS NGC. Annex is the only one, yes, because I think basically PCGS and NGC focus mostly on like Cherry Pickers Guide, big big varieties. NGC does does more than what PCGS does because they also have Variety Plus, which is their own. Um, you know, it's their, it it contains a lot of their own discovered kind of type coins. Um, that are maybe repunchment marks or double dies or misplaced dates and all that kind of stuff. So they will they have a bigger selection of stuff that they will attribute as well on the slab. Can I send one strictly for a great opinion? No, I don't expect you to get it dead on from picks. Just an idea of how close I am. Well, Stray, you can send it and we'll... <laughs> see what we can see, I guess. Usually we'll point them down to the, you know, people that do the most grading. <clears throat> Adam. Adam. <laughs> uh, you, you see his ears perk up like a pole grading and all that, yeah. <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Food? <laughs> Give me food. <laughs> when are they going to release the new Cherry Pickers Guide? Uh, 2038. 38? <laughs> That's a good guess. <laughs> That's a good guess. That, 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 is, uh, that is such a wild, wild question. Every single time I hear it, I, I, I was like, huh, probably within the next 10 years. You know, that's my, my go-to response. <laughs> but the people, the contributors to the book, they're getting older. There's way too damn many of them. There are... I, I don't know, Adam. How much? How many contributors do you think is in the Cherry Pickers Guide? A hundred different people, you think? There's, 
Well, there's there's all yeah, there's all kinds. Depends on what the point is and all that. There's yeah, probably multiple people responsible for it. I'm sure. Um, I know that a couple people are uh, dropping out of it. I know that. Right. Uh, I think Ken Potter said he was going to be doing it. Eric asked if they even have an editor anymore. Yeah, it's it's an AI program called Chat GPT. <laughs> the, the next edition of the Cherry Picker's Guide should just be 100% Chat GPT put together, AI drawn. That'd be interesting. So Justin said, found a 70D quarter last night that has such strong doubling, I couldn't even convince myself it was a DDR. The best I've ever seen felt like I found a hidden treasure. I'm assuming you mean machine doubling, strong machine doubling. Because, yeah, some of them look like, some of them are really outrageous looking. If it's the 70, is it the 70D? The 70D, the FS101 is particularly strong on that. Well, yeah, it's a 70D, 70D. Uh, Maria, you should uh, you should send us photos if you have the opportunity. We would yeah, love to see that. Do. Sometimes we show off just so people will know what they're looking for. <clears throat> I mean, not looking for, but... And, and by the way, we, an li we live vicariously through each and every single one of you. So if you have some bangers you want to throw at us... I got a banger. Man, we, we, we will be the biggest cheerleaders ever for you. We try. I got a banger. What's your banger? I'll get it hooked up. Keep here. pulling it up. Maria said, Thank you, all of you, for the educational input. I am learning what you guys are showing. Now you have to go through Edith. Oh, I have to go through Edith again and Wheat Sense. Edith Tanaka. Also greatly appreciated. Thank you, Maria. Appreciate that. You don't get this to show up here. Does Heritage Auctions only appraise graded coins? No, um, they sell coins. They, they said they uh, they're in the business of selling. They don't appraise. Okay, Dude. let me get my camera going. Screen. What could you plate a copper penny with to make it slightly magnetic? Does anyone know? Yeah, I think a lot of them are have steel plating, don't they? Yeah. Or even look at this, guys. Look at the T there. Top of that T there. See it? S the T, and then we go down here. Go down here to dollar. It's pretty thick. Look at R. That R, man. Oh. Crazy. All right. So, I found this. I bought some proof sets. And it is a. Let's see here. There we go. 68S. Ooh. It's the FS801. Nice. Very nice double dive. Nice. Nice. And then me. I bought a roll of Eisenhower dollars. And it was a sealed roll from 1975. And then I found this. Tell me, should I go ahead and remove this? I think I should go get some Dawn soap right now and remove this right now. I don't like this. Look at that. What is that? It is a strike through. That is copper and grease. Look at that. Wow. Missing. So it's one. Wait, were you asking Dirty Water if you should do that? <laughs> no. Sorry. Remember, who was it that removed the grease on the quarter? Was that him? That, yes, that was him. Oh, no. Oh, that was the, uh, <laughs> the Washington Cross of the Delaware. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that. That's crazy. pretty. That's pretty crazy for a Ike dollar. 
you know? That is crazy. All that copper and pretty cool. That is pretty it's cool. Can I have it? It's a bicentennial, too. Oh, nice. And it's a type, I think it's a type two. Let's see. Yeah, type two. Yeah, type two. And I had two of them with it. So I'm going to be selling one of my whatnot uh, Wednesday. So. Nice. You guys can buy, you're not buying this one. I'm telling you right now, not this one, but you could buy the other one. It's not as strong. It's not as strong. Okay, so back to the question. What what else would you play the copper penny with to make it slightly magnetic? Titanium? Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, that That's what they used on the um, state quarters when they were hawking them on uh, – uh, coin TV or Thanks HSM, coin, coin ball or whatever. That's crazy. Dirty water, sorry. <laughs> He's like, I see this mad emoji. Yeah, let's there. see. Might need y'all to tell me this nickel is damaged and not an edge strike. Been staring too long at it. Looks like you in on a flat edge and just not sure. Well, Gibach, send us pictures. We'll try and take a look for you. Yeah, Rosie's coins knows. We'll ask her. Boop. Rosie's coins. Uh, let's see. Hey, uh, Biggie143, have you been on uh, Vam World's website to see what Vam it is? Because a great a grading company, even PCGS, they will attribute Vams if you know what they are. The minor Vams that aren't um, recognized as like top 100 or top 50 they'll just do a minor vam designation on there so they can do it they just they need your vam number for that one sloppy stacks oh, wait, 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 you were talking about rosie's coins and rosie key 1477 yeah. like what are you guys talking <laughs> about <laughs> rosie's coins so, so someone better explain what, what just happened here yeah, right. So that way she doesn't feel like she's being singled out. Oh, so Ros Rosie's Coins is a YouTube channel that is terrible because it, they basically just use um, robots and uh, AI. It's, a, it's AI, right? It's a yeah, AI it's all channel. AI, you know, generated and just horrible information, horrible videos. Um, yeah, it's not the Rosie that's in the chat. <laughs> But yeah, so stay away from them if you see them. Um, Sloppy Stack said, submitted a 1995P to the Facebook group for review. It has a doubled eye and wasn't sure if machine or something cool. Anyone know of any weirdness for that particular year? Um, I don't personally, but... Which one? What year? Uh, 95. Ninety-five Lincoln. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's Lincoln, right? It was a cent. Yes. Okay. So ninety-five Lincoln cent, possibly doubled I, doubled I, not doubled die, doubled I. Joey, you can't have my baby grand because it's invisible. Okay, invisible. <laughs> we watch. Hey, Sergio. That's oh, funny. <laughs> you've had that baby grand for how many years and you've never actually played it? <laughs> right. It's just for show. Faux oh, show. Right. <laughs> that's that's my baby <laughs> grand. Faux oh, show. Right. <laughs> Nothing I really think of being enough will make a magnet stick like but yes. Not my videos. <laughs> yeah, he's been using that green screen. I guess since the beginning of the year, somewhere around there. Yeah, because I live in the basement, guys. Yeah, I used it one day, and I think Joey or somebody said <laughs> asked me if I was at your house. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
how much of a depreciation would it be if a fingerprint be across your coin? I mean, depends on how bad it is, but it can definitely take away from my appeal and it could take away quite a bit of value, I guess. Yeah, well, on copper, copper print always, always most assuredly turns black, you know, like carbon. So that's uh, that's a that's a terminal type of state that that will fall into, and that that's only a matter of time. Uh, on silver, <laughs> silver and nickel, you know, I mean, you could probably dip it, especially silver. You could do a jewelry dip and it might get <clears> rid of it. But there's always a chance that it'll come back because, you know, the oils in our skin, it's like any other oil. It's just hard to clean up. AI, AI will be grading coins, I heard. <clears throat> I don't know. We're already doing it. <clears throat> how much... How, accurate that's going to be because what about i appeal right well that part is going to have to be done by the human i mean is it possible that ai can suggest a grade and then a human follow-up and they would verify it. yeah that's yeah, how verify it would verify the grade. It. they would look it for i appeal and then it would still and then they would probably either tick it up or tick it down based off that. 1960 silver dime with die chip on the leaves. And I can't tell if it's double die on the reverse. I sent it in about a week ago wondering if you could help me with that. Um, PKS, if you have sent it to us, we will certainly get to it. Um, we did try to do emails this weekend and stuff was screwed up with uh, Outlook, so we couldn't see any of the pictures for some reason. But we will be getting to all of the emails. AI, I is in their name, duh. <laughs> I appeal, AI <laughs> appeal. Nice, Mike. <clears throat> <laughs> Do hey, is of... Russ selling his coin? Is he selling that beautiful... Uh, Phoenix. Did you guys see that coin, by the way? No. Oh, Who's selling God. it? Russ. Russ Vega. Last name. It says, we are. It says, Mike's selling it. Oh, nice. Dirty Water's asking if anyone has heard anything new on the uh, Henning Nickel Collector's Guide that's being released. Or when it's shipped out, he emailed Joe, but hasn't heard back from him yet. I have not heard any updates on it. And Paula's Paula not here. Would, yeah. She would be a lot better to ask. Yeah. We I know she, she was getting to look at a digital copy. And I think he may have had to change something last minute. Oh, okay. So... I just bought a 43 that, that looks just like a copper, but it barely sticks to the magnet. If you're not careful, uh, it falls right off. You need a steady hand. Oh, so Joe, okay. I think Joseph's trying to, he's talking about uh, the same thing that Rosie was talking about, maybe. Cheer Have a good night, Scott. Take Tuesday. care, brother. Some shits. Point three stories for people not plating them and passing them off as legit. Yep. All right. Nice, Scott. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Coach's Magic. It's still very much in its infancy. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm not. I'm not giving it a whole lot of thought right now, um, because the the early concepts with it weren't very good i know um uh, uh daniel malone you guys know him as coin help you on youtube he's been trying to do things with ai for coin grading and he is he has stalled out on that so it's it's not an easy project 
I can tell you that. Shouldn't the steel 43 weigh totally different than a copper 43? Yes. Yes, it would. Oh, it would be on display at Central States. Well, I will be there at Central States, Mike Noodle. I will check it out. Nice. Awesome, awesome. You well, know I'll be over at that table. I'll be hanging out, you know, for <laughs> five, six, <laughs> five, six hours probably. So no worries. That's funny. So they'll show it and then they'll sell it. So you don't necessarily need to go by magnetic. True. All right. Well, if nobody else has any questions, we may call it an evening since we didn't have a lot of stuff to show tonight. Yeah, we're about an hour, hour into the show. But we appreciate everyone for coming and hanging out with us and enjoying your Monday. We always yeah, keep it. keep them, keep in mind we are inside two months away from the Oklahoma Tulsa show. So please plan on coming on by, and I won't accept no for an answer. Everyone, be there or be square. You, you might not see square. me. I'll be out. You know, some table. Uh, <laughs> you know, very cooking the whole time. So. No, I'm just kidding. But. No, Shannon will be there right right with you. So I'll probably be behind you, yeah. yeah. I pick up his I pick up his leftovers. His, his table scraps. Yeah, Ron and I will like, sit next to each other. We'll sit next to each other and he'll be like, I'm like, did you go through those already? Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't want to look those. Did you go through those already? No. Okay, I'll look through those. Yeah, it's like you know, but you gotta push and shove and be like, Oh, can I see those three cent nickels? Come on. Right? Get out of my way. <laughs> Yep. Well, thank you guys for coming on board. We we will be back again a week from today. Same time as usual. Same bat time, same bat channel. Indeed. Amanda, are you gonna show us out? Yep. Okay. Have a good night, guys.